With the Cisco Unifier Attendant Console, it is possible for each operator to create their own speed dials. Speed dials gives the operators the ability to enter numbers into the system that don't exist in their main directory. To create a new speed dial, you can right click anywhere in the speed dial area and select add speed dial. You'll notice you have an option called private speed dial. If selected, you'll create a speed dial which can only be viewed and changed by the operator that creates it. If you deselect this, it will be a public speed dial which can be viewed and changed by all operators. To create a private speed dial, ensure private speed dial is selected, enter your number, enter a name. If you wish, you can enter some company information or you can leave that blank. Click OK and you will be warned that you are creating a private speed dial and only you can view it. Select Yes to continue. To create a public speed dial, right click and select Add Speed Dial. Deselect the private speed dial option. Enter your number. Enter a name. And enter some company information if you wish. Click on OK and you'll be warned that you are creating a public speed dial and all operators will be able to see it. Select Yes to continue. Another option for creating a speed dial is to drag and drop a contact from your main directory to the speed dial area. If you do this, it will create a private speed dial. Select Yes to continue. If you wish to edit your speed dial, you can right click and select edit and you can change some information and click OK. If you wish to delete a speed dial, you can right click and select delete. You'll notice in the speed dial area there are two different icons. The icon shown here is a public speed dial and the icon shown here is a private speed dial. If I log out of the attendant console and log in with a different user, you will only see the public speed dial which was created and not the private one 